How does a team beat two number one teams during the season but still lose four games? That was the plight of the Auburn Tigers in 2017. We'll see what uh, Gus Malzahn's crew has in store for 2018. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down all the conferences. I have compared the schedules, and I've broken it down systematically, and I have ranked them 70 all the way up to number one. We are in the top 10 at number eight, and Auburn's at number eight. It's the second toughest schedule in the SEC, and it starts, of course, with a difficult test with Washington coming to Atlanta, where Auburn played and lost its last two games of the season last year in postseason play against Georgia in the SEC championship game and famously against Central Florida in the Peach Bowl. Now they have to play three consecutive games in the same stadium. I'd like to know if that's ever happened before. Auburn versus Washington in Atlanta. Yes, it's a very important game for Washington. Certainly, I've described and explained why more so for the Huskies, but even for Auburn, of course. Uh, the College Football Playoff Committee will be looking at non-conference results against the top teams in the country. But if Auburn wins the SEC, if anybody wins the SEC, they're going to the playoff. So not as critical for Auburn, but still a good test to see because many people believe this team's overrated. Many believe they're ready to compete for the SEC Western Division Championship. So Washington is the headliner out of conference, no question, and is typical for the SEC Western Division, not so much the East. Many of the teams regularly play their rival out of the ACC, like Florida State, Georgia Tech, Louisville. Then they schedule somebody else difficult, typically, not all the time. But in the SEC Western Division, hey, we'll play the one game and then we're done. And for Auburn, it's Alabama State on September 8th. It's Southern Miss September 29th. So a decent matchup against a Conference USA foe. And then Liberty, the Flames of Liberty, are the sacrificial lamb on November 17th before the Iron Bowl. All right, there are really no tough stretches in here. It's very much a spread out schedule in regards to the most difficult opponents. LSU is in between Alabama State and Arkansas. Mississippi State is between Southern Miss and Tennessee. Texas A&M, Georgia, that's your tough stretch if that is a stretch of two games. Texas A&M, November 3rd on the Plains. And then the trip from Auburn to Athens to take on the uh, Georgia Bulldogs in the South's oldest rivalry. Texas A&M, Georgia, November 3rd and the 10th. And then, of course, the Iron Bowl, November 24th. So Auburn's got an easy one and a tough one when looking at their SEC Eastern Division schedule. They always play Georgia, and the Bulldogs are red hot. Of, co- of course, coming off uh, arguably the best season in college football last year until the very end. And then Auburn also takes on Tennessee, which should be much improved from 0-8 in the conference last year. So Auburn's got Washington. They've got Alabama. They've got LSU, Texas A&M. They've got Georgia as well. It's the eighth most difficult schedule in all of college football. Number two in the SEC. Please like and comment and uh, let you know what we um, bring here with a schedule analysis. And then when we get these done and the series is over, We come right back and we bring you our previews and predictions on all the teams in the Power Five, plus the major independents, right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.